let's take a look at making an any shape rug that can be changed with an opacity map using either you studio toolkit so as per usual we need to start from the defaults so file new general that just resets the file don't save then from view sidebar so we can either click on that or use the shortcut key we get the side panel toolkit tab so click on that and then for this we want the furniture tool so click on the title expand the options and then just click on create furniture that drops in the basics which is a root node and this is called attachment dot root and a basic mesh we don't need this but we'll hide it for now rather than delete it so in the outliner we just want to click on the eye icon so for our rug we need to drop in a plane a mesh primitive so add mesh and we want plane click that drops that in so we can change the size of this using the widgets so we've got move rotate and scale we want scale so click that and we'll get the widget appearing click drag anywhere inside the white loop and that will scale on all three axes or as this is a plane on two that's the x and y hold the control key down whilst we're doing this and it'll snap to the grid so click hold control and we snap to the grid and let's scale this up to about that so that's what we've got that's our mesh and that's all we need for this next we need to apply a material so material properties and we can see a material hasn't been previously assigned so click on new that creates a new instance and populates it with a set of properties expand preview so click type let's just call this rug space brackets zero brackets so that's the basics what we then need to do is go into shading workspace and we need to assign an image to this so we want the add menu add texture and then we want image texture so add texture image texture this will drop in a node click let's just zoom in a little bit what we want to do here is click drag color output we want to drag that to base color input so click drag that will turn black because we don't actually have an image assignment yet for that click on new we get the new image pop-up so let's just call this rug change its size so click type 256 height so again click type 256 enter and then we want to change the generated type from blank to color grid or UV grid either will do then OK and there is our texture so for the any shape aspect of this so that is the ability to use an alpha map or a opacity map to change the design of the rug so if we wanted to make this circular we could drop in a circular opacity map and create that shape so for that what we want to do we're still in shading workspace add menu again add another image texture texture image texture this time we want to connect color output to alpha input so click drag alpha input and that'll go black again because we haven't assigned an image to this yet before we actually create this alpha image 
what we need to do is go into materials so material properties scroll down to the bottom let's preview this scroll down to the bottom and we want to enable blend mode at the moment it's opaque which is why it's showing up as a black a flat black color so what we want to do here is change this to alpha clip so that'll disappear for now so for the image what we want to do again similar to what we did before we want to click on the new button we'll call this rug clip 256 by 256 says are okay color grid that as well that's okay so click OK and we'll see that the rug has some transparency to it because it's using the colors that are already in the image to make that transparent so that's the clip so that's the blend mode alpha clip aspect of the material so what we can do is have a quick preview of the images so if we click the node for the rug and what we can do in the image editor area is click on the browse image to be linked button and we can see our rug image and then if we click on rug clip we can also then check our rug clip image they're both the same because they're the same image so to paint the opacity what we can do is go into texture paint and this will bring up our image mapped to our object and here we want to make sure that we are going to paint we're going to paint on this image we're going to paint on the correct image so browse image to be linked just double check that we are on rug clip what we need to do double check our view mode we want to be in material preview so that we can see the transparency as it's painted based on the settings and then all we do is paint white in this particular instance because we're creating a mask a simple mask and we can see how that's changing our opacity so to change the color use the color picker click drag that down to black and then we can paint around the outside and that will get rid of the colored bits and that is our mask so because it's using a clip material if we go into material properties even though the mask has fuzzy edges because we're using clip it creates a very hard edge so in material properties you can preview a different edge type by switching blend mode from alpha clip to blend and that will show our blurred edge so this gives us a preview of what the settings in INVU would be like so blend for blurry edges clip for hard edges then of course all we need to do is change our color and paint let's paint some rough edges these very crude tassels we can see how that's instantly updating the image that's mapped to the mesh so now that we've got our two images what we can do is save these so if we look at the image menu we can see that the little asterisk appended to the label that indicates this image data to be saved so click on that image 
So save a copy, save as, or save. I'm going to save as rug clip. I'm going to keep the name, set the file format, PNG, TIFF, or TGA. We want a lossless format, which helps with photo editing later on. It doesn't lose any data. I'll bitmap. So target raw, save our file location. Rug clip and then save. Similarly, browse image to be linked. We want to save our rug texture. Image, save as. So it's changed the name, it's updated it. Again, file format, target raw, and then save. So those are the two images that we've created for our any shape rug. What we need to do next Switch back to layout. So what we can do now is duplicate this to create a bit of depth to our rug. So edit mode. We're in object mode at the moment. Edit mode. Switch to face select. Make sure we have the face selected. So click on it. And then what we want to do here is mesh duplicate. Duplicate. This creates a duplicate that's linked to the mouse. Press escape just to reset. And then what we can do is use the widget, the move widget. The widget will appear. What we can do now is just click drag on the blue handle and drag that up a little bit create a gap between the two layers. Do that again, so mesh, duplicate, escape, drag that up a little bit, and then once more, mesh, duplicate, escape. And drag that up a little bit more. So if we go back into object mode, There is our rug with a sense of depth. So to export, we need to first save the file. File, save as. Save as, and then what we can do, select our mesh and we can rename it. So double click in the outliner on the word plane. Let's just call this rug dot mesh. We don't have to do the dot mesh. Rug dot mesh. And then what we need to do to ensure that this is exported correctly using the toolkit, we need to move this item into this collection, into the mesh collection. So we can do that two ways. We can either click, hold, and drag it into place over the top, and it drops it into the mesh folder, or in the 3D view, object, collection, move to collection. The shortcut key for that is M. So object, collection, move to collection. It'll give us a pop-up and then we mouse over furniture export and then go into mesh and that will do the same thing. So if we watch what happens here, it'll move into that collection like so. So we're almost ready to export. Let's just save over that file, save, and then we can export. And for that, all we need to do Let's click on the export button. So click on that and it exports the file. So we don't need to do anything else to the mesh in terms of setting it up other than create the mesh 
drop it into the appropriate folder or the appropriate collection mesh in this case and the toolkit will do the rest of it for us so in studio we can then import and assemble our furniture item so in IMV studio we need to create a new project as normal create rooms and furniture empty furniture get a preview derive this loads in the default there is our avatar what we need to do now is import the FBX so import FBX browse to the location toolkit were clipped open so this is a preview and it's brought in two meshes and two materials so we'll take a look at that in a second so set up FBX and what we have is because we didn't remove or delete the default cube that was in the scene it's brought it in as well so if we want to delete it from the scene we can do that to control what's brought in with the file otherwise all we need to do is just deselect that and it'll only import our rug mesh don't need to change anything else so that's okay next similarly for our materials we don't need this additional material so deselect it's brought in our images so there's our opacity mask that's our image our diffuse next no animation review so this is what it's bringing in and then import And there is our any shape rug auto assembled in IMVU Studio. So we can take a look at the components. So that's our material. So it's brought in our diffuse and the opacity map. And if we want to change the blend used, so we want mode alpha test at the moment composite blend and we get the fuzzy edges so let's save this hamburger file save or save as And then all we need to do is create our product info and upload this to the catalog but that's creating a simple any skin furniture item a rug using the toolkit